All right, the Mass Effect of Summer continues on. Last time we got to explore a couple planets, take care of a couple things, and now we're back for more. What do we have here? Hmm. Oh, sorry, capsule. All right, let's recover this artifact. Matrix writing is recovered. It's not clear who lived here, but it appears to have been abandoned for some time. The container in the tent held, among other things, one of Matriarch's, Matriarch Dillinger's writings. Right. So I guess there's more now. And it's an Asari writing, so let's take a look. Oh, looks like there's a deposit over here. Surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of thorium. Great. Somebody doesn't want us here. Although the same can't be said for my driving. Alright, we're here. Oh, one more. Alright, we're here. and let's compare apples to oranges, shall we? Oh. Alright, so we got a little more Omnigel, which never hurted anyone. Perfect.
All right, let's go take a look inside. Something tells me we got an ambush. No, nope. no, we have a raid. I think we'll probably just leave everything as is. Yeah, this is the only turn it on the gel. Okay, so we need a decryption for this. You discover evidence that the Asari leading these slavers and Nasana Dantius and a foreign ambassador on the Citadel are sisters. You should return to the Presidium and confront Nasana with this. Ooh. Okay, this ought to prove interesting. Alright, so... I'll have to come back here with someone with a pretty good level of decryption. I th and I think it's Tali that has it? Let's go take a look and see uh see what I can and cannot equip. Eh, not much. Too, so okay oh that's something I should have known already is that these are specific to specific characters all right so Of choices here. I can go back to the Citadel and confront Nassan. 
or I can get started with the main quest. I don't think there's much left to do here. Well, actually, there's one more thing I have to do. Let's take a look see here. Okay, I have to go all the way around. Which is fine. Perfect. All right, might as well take these out because you never know. All right. Okay. So now we got to return back to the Normandy. Although I am gonna come back. Actually, I'm just gonna do this right now because I need tally. Let's land. Because I think she's the only one with decryption. Let's take a look at my squad first. My combat strength is high. But these guys have techs. Not, and none of us have biotics, so which means I'm not too concerned with biotics right now. I mean, if this doesn't work, like I said, I'll wait until... I forgot who, who else besides Tally has decryption. Because I have to head back. I'll take a look at my squad. I don't know, Asara Diplomacy? I don't know if, uh... Well... I don't know if this would be a good idea or not. Okay, yeah, her, de yeah, her decryption skill is pretty high. So yeah, we're gonna head back. Here. Oop, that's not what I want. Yeah, her decryption skill is pretty high, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, unless it's one of those containers where it's like... Oh, you gotta reach maximum level before you can do this. I am gonna be healed. Here, let's go. 
Uh, guys, over here. Okay, so this is not the floor. Guys. Rally round. As soon as we're done here, we're going back to uh, the Citadel. Um, okay, here it is. It's still too low? Really? Even for, even for Tatley? Unless this is one of those uh, skills where it requires... Let me take a look at her. Let me take a look at her. And yeah, she's a little over halfway with uh, her decryption. Are you sure about this? Wall safe. Skill too low. You have got to be kidding. Well, something to keep in mind. Like I said, next time I level tally, I'll make sure to, uh... I'll try to make sure to get her decryption skills up as high as possible, and then we're gonna come back for the umpteenth trillionth time. Oh, what's this? Oh, what do we have up here? Oh, I missed something. Well, never hurts to have more metagels. Anyways, back to the Citadel. terrestrial planet half again the size of Earth. Despite its thick atmosphere, the weak output of the red dwarf Macedon leaves its surface biting cold. Sounds like paradise to me. The crust is mainly composed of silica, but significant deposits of iron and other industrial metals are present. These loads may prove rich enough to be profitably mined despite the heavy gravity. Orbital period, 21 Earth years, radius 9,749 kilometers, day length 45.4 Earth hours, atmospheric pressure 1.4 Earth atmospheres, Surface temperature 197 degrees Celsius below zero, and surface gravity 1.5 Gs. Oh, found another uh, writing. All right, so that's two. Had a big. Oh, there's nothing here. But it is the second of the Macedon system's giant terrestrial planets, and by far the more interesting. So why can't we land here? Most of the surface is covered by a vast sea of liquid ammonia, in which a unique aquatic ammonia-based biosphere is developed. While the frozen continents are largely bereft of life, a rich bounty of complex organisms, many larger than a human, flourish in the chilly, toxic seas. Nice. While directly and inhospitable to humans, Patavig is suitable for colonization by the Volus. Negotiations between the Systems Alliance and the Volus patrons in the Victorian hierarchy may have made good progress. Oh, I bet. Orbital distance, 11.3 AU. Orbital period, 69.8 Earth years. Radius, 10,529 kilometers. Day length of 30.4 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, 22.4 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature, negative 130 degrees Celsius below zero. And surface gravity, 1.6 Gs. Lovely. Sounds like a nice little uh, vacation spot. And finally, Frog Loose. Frog Loose is the standard hydrogen helium gas giant with an abundance of airborne hydrocarbons. That's it? Nothing else? Alright. Well, anyways. Orbital period of 111.7 Earth years, radius is 40,394 kilometers, and day length is 19.1 Earth hours. The gas deposit surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of xenon. Alright. I think that's enough here for now. But first I gotta go back to the Citadel.
Presidium now. So where do we land exactly? Oh, we're back here at the bay. Alright, so it's time for us to leave. But just for a bit. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I sure hope Presley I can do as good of a job as I can. So now where do I have to go? The Presidium. Okay, we have to go to the Embassy Lounge. That's our destination. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle and his cultists refused to surrender and were killed in the resulting firefight. News travels fast in this game. All right, so we're here. Now we have to go to the lounge. Nasana. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the Human Spectre. Is there something I can do for you? You're Nasana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. It didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Ooh, scored herself a pretty sweet deal. So now I can get Asari mods. But of course, though, uh... Well, since I am here anyways, I might as well go visit the markets. Since I'm here anyways. Might as well. Let's see what sort of deals I can get. Let's go to the markets. Alright, let's see if we got anything of goods here.
Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I definitely want that for sure. These upgrades here, I'm definitely gonna. Okay, I definitely don't need two of these. Well, I'll think of it when the time comes. Now let's go visit the lower market. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Burner. Remember me? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. Oh, I, I forgot to, to mention one thing. Proud. If you can the make this guy about happy, Shepherd, fighting for I all of think us back home. in the second game, I think you get a better reception. You're showing them but if you're a jerk to this guy, then yeah. Hey, can I get oh, your I'm not picture? Swear it. I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you. And I'll have your picture. And I'll have a restraining Just order. Hold up your gun. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. And I'll make sure to get that restraining order to you, too. C-Sec. Right, In other bay. news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Oh, it looks like we gotta go to the Hades Gamma Cluster and find out what happened to them. Boy, you know, I really love doing these missions here, and like I said, this is gonna help out in the long run, but the question is, is it gonna be a benefit, not a hindrance? Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Uh, Ashley, other way. You're not facing the uh, scanners correctly. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Now, since I am here, and since I do have a lot of money, I wonder if. Uh... for supplies how often will you get new items well that depends on how many licenses you've purchased but I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless and anytime we land someplace with a big enough port I'll buy sell and trade whatever I can check back often I need to move items quickly so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently let's see what you've got you bet commander <laughs> Is well, I, mean, I don't know. I think this one's gonna be better because damage protection is a lot more important than shields. heavy armor yet. You know, I'll come back later.
done here. Something, something, I think we were finished here. Gravity will tug as many asteroids from the outer belt inwards as the orbit of Italian, Edelis, and eventually settle into the inner belt. Anamalka's orbit is congested with hundreds of captured moons. Most only last a few thousand years before being ejected and dragged down into the atmosphere, or ripped apart by tidal forces and added to the gas giant of immense rains. Attempting to navigate this chaotic environment is hazardous at best. Ships without military grade kinetic barriers are likely to suffer catastrophic impacts. Over 39.1 years. Radius 72,492 kilometers and daily through 17.7 Earth hours. And we found a large uh, positive hydrogen. Alsages. I mean, you know what? I'm done reading this here. I mean, if you guys want to uh, pause the video and read this for yourselves, I mean, go right ahead. We found a rare positive plutonium. Besides, I gotta concentrate more on the game anyways. So there's nothing here anyways. Altea. Does it have anything? So I think there's an objective here, if I'm not mistaken. Again, this is going to be one of the few that I will read. Therum is a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Its plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Four samples rich with the fossils of simple silicon-based organisms indicate Therum was more habitable in the past than it is at present. Perhaps this explains the many Prothean ruins dotting the surface, most of which have been looted by mining corporations. Colony founded 2167, population 34,000, capital... Nova Yekaterinburg. That's a mouthful. Orbital period of 6.4 Earth years, radius 6,724 kilometers. Day length of 28.3 Earth hours, atmospheric pressure 0.68 Earth atmospheres, surface temperature of 59 degrees Celsius, and surface gravity of 1.12 Gs. Let's go take a look. Some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay, so maybe I am supposed to be here, but for a different reason. Well, anyways, let's, uh, let's navigate these planets. It's, we took the time to be here, anyways.
Oh. Like I said before, maybe I can't be here yet. I mean, that's debatable. We are here anyways, might as well just go ahead and start looking for a... Uh... see what we can find.
quite ready yet.
Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to go on foot from here. First, I gotta level up my uh, take all. So now I have eight points now to play around with. But I don't want this for sure. Hopefully this should give me what I want, but like I said, I'm not going to worry about it now.
Bombs down. Let's take a look and see what's inside the mining camp. Yes? This is quite interesting. Looks like we've got more company. around the ruin. 
Okay, so our objective here is to shut down the shields. Can't be good. Well, looks like the elevator's out of commission. You lead, I'll follow. For now. Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Please? Oh, so we are supposed to be here. Okay. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. They are at Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Williams is starting to kill me. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! Your mother is working with Saren. What? I am not- I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Alright, so that's our MO. Are you sure? We got him.
So down, left. So down, left, right. Up. Down, left, right, up. So this is our next stop. All right, so we're here, so now what? Now what do we do? Oh, there she is. Ah, uh, can you please, Harry? My limbs are killing me. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Good going, you idiot! Despite rescuing me, we you're gonna to kill hurry. all of us! The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. He needs to move faster. Reason you're in my way? The same reason you're here. The Asari. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not, doesn't matter. Are we indecisive?
Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research... I can make a wise crack right now, but I'm deserves. just gonna leave it as is. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you are right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. 
Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need and some being time Stasis to doesn't help matters either. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. The air is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Alright, so what's next on our list? I, mean, I suppose I could go back to the Citadel once more and uh, see if that fan is there. Because I think I have to do this three times. I think we're done here. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Yep. Oh. Forgot about this planet. Survey. Found a large concentration of nitrogen. Okay, good. Wait, what? Oh, this is just our location. are going to be playing. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, I think we're done here, I believe. Try one more time here. All right. 
We'll go here one last time. And then that's gonna be it. Gotta move on. Can't, can't be spending all this time doing one thing here that accomplishes nothing. Oh, we found all the gases already. Very nice. Cool. Up, so all right now she's very good at hacking well we both are and like I said, this is our last chance with the stronghold. If we can't get this open, we're not gonna waste time. Decryptions. Okay. Holy. Wow. No fooling about this thing being hard. Oh boy. Alright, failed. Jeez. No fooling about this thing being hard. We are officially done here. Back to the Normandy. And we are finished here.
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Plenty good. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Hey, right, we'll see it. Oh. Oh. What does he want? Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. This ship saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondock. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. Sounds like a fairly common situation. Commander, I suggest you secure your mouth. It's going to get you in trouble. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm, reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours, 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. 
Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Thank God I hate him. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Well, I'll see if this fan is there one more time. Because he's supposed to be here three... supposed to do this three times. Oh. Commander Shepard, Kalisa had been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. I always hate nosy news reporters. There he is. All right, because I think this is the third and last time we encounter him. Commander, I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Why would you want to be a specter, Conrad? Because I wanted to show the council what humanity can do, just like you. I'd make a great specter. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, but I'd never let you down. What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. It's called tough love. Everybody's got to learn to accept it, whether they like it or not.
All right. Anyway, back to CSAC. I don't think I need anything at the markets. All right, let's go. With all this exploration of Prothean culture, this must be like a survey for you, Liara. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. The loss of all this Prothean technology is just one more thing Saren will have to pay for. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Ship mobility dominates space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, let's keep moving. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. All right. All right, um... We gotta go to Hades and Yama, because there's a missing survey team. We gotta get him out of there. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. Their freighter sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. What kind of resistance should I expect? The biotics were seen loading equipment into the freighter. Expect traps and combat drones. Nothing you can't handle. What are the biotics asking for? There are L2 biotics, and most of them are suffering major side effects from the implants. The subcommittee denied a request for reparations to all L2 Let's biotics. Skipped out the chairman. Apparently, they like the to your lines. Consider. What's the priority on saving the chairman? Saving would be my preference, but we must make it clear that these tactics don't work, Commander. Your top priority is to neutralize the biotics. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. Here, see if I can, uh, survey this land. Ooh, a lot more rare elements. Thorium. Very nice. Found a 
crossing a data disk. Very nice. Oh wait, we're over here, so never mind this. Time to go here. The Ontario is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design, configured for mixed freight and passenger hauling. It is making a hard burn for the cover on asteroid cluster. Registry private owner, Citadel Station. Well, I'm gonna go take a look. Let's put her in action. So that's more data disk, but we're going to worry about that later. Fanatical Biotics and the Hades Gamma Cluster have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies and are holed up in a derelict fighter in the Farinata system. Alright, let's go. straightforward. So let's go. Intruders, kill the hostage. Two minutes to save his, uh, sorry, but. We'll take detours later. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. Well, I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth. I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. 
I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. Then you weren't doing your job. The fifth plate cruiser will pick you and the prisoners up. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I was gonna take a look. Oh yeah, I leveled up. Very nice. She only gets three points. Huh. Well, that ended very well. I think with that we can get out of here. coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. Alright, let's get out of here. We're finished here. Well, not quite. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Oh, I bet. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Alright. So now we have a rogue VI to deal with. Lovely. So that's the planet. I'm gonna have to around first before we continue. Survey. On another matrix of writings. Very nice. On another gas deposit. Very nice. Alright, so with that, our next stop is over here. Trevin. Alright, let's 
go. Guys, can it really? Can't be serious. Really? After all that? Wow. That was kind of stupid, actually. That, uh. And I was at full health, too, mind you. Can you do something that stupid? Really? Doesn't quite work like that.
there. Insignia. Very nice. soon enough. The survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Guess we should head to the excavation site then. All right, so that's our next stop, the excavation site. Oh, let's see if there's more though. You know what? This is... Oh, hang on. Okay, so that's our next stop is uh, the excavation site. Okay, looks like only he leveled up. Alright, so... stream um at least for today thank you everyone to wa who was watching and i'll see everyone next time